Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Sam, the esports coach. I'm joined by Kai, our local commentator. Hello. Today we're going to be streaming our first match of Valorant. I believe these are best two of three. And I believe this is the second or third week that Valorant has been going on. So Valorant is a part of Play Versus. So we saw the teams discussing earlier. So it's Pella on the, the, on the attacker side. The attacking side on the right, colored in red. And then the Rockford Rams on the left, defending. Yep, yeah, we previously banned... So each team had three bands of maps. And then they picked from the last two. And we are playing on the Icebox map. And we just... Both teams just finished picking their agents for this round. So the agents are like characters? You can kind of see their pictures. The left of each name. Here we go. You're the attackers, right? So yep. I do not know how to switch to our side. Oh dear. Well, I'm probably not even clicking the right button. So we're currently in the buy phase, which. Oh, right here. It's the buttons. Okay. Ooh. All right, so here's Siri. There we go. Part of the Pella team. So the characters or the teams aren't really doing much, they're buying. So nope. weapons and armor. Yep. Abilities. So I believe they do this between rounds. You can buy your weapons. I think at the start you don't have much. So I think everyone kind of starts with pistols. And as you can see, there you can do duplicate characters in this game. So we have Two of the same characters on both sides. Oh, I see that. That's a good call. And one thing to note, so what we Ooh. see as spectators, the enemies cannot see. It's like where we can see outlines of the characters through the map. Um, we can see it as spectators, but the players themselves cannot see it. So here we can see Mr. Boo, who is... JJ. JJ. So J we can see the outlines of the characters, but he cannot. We can just kind of see what his perspective would look like. And the green is the opposing team. The red is Pella. Green, yep. I think I mistakenly called them blue. Close enough. Oh, oh. JJ there goes Gordon. JJ. Let's go to... This is Michael. So we have one. The top of the screen, you can see three are down for the, um, for the Rams. And then we have only one down on the Dutch side. So we're we're currently ahead, but doesn't mean it's a doesn't mean we have a victory guarantee. And this game does not have like a re regeneration, correct? Or like a revive. So what? Well, yeah, once you go down, you're down. Yeah. And there we go, Pella. Pella's won this round. From this first part. So again, going to the buy phase. So I believe they should have more money to buy better weapons. Better abilities. Yep, and the money is determined by how well you did in your previous round. So since Pella won, they would have more money to buy weapons and armor and abilities than the Rams do. And as far as I'm aware, your weapons don't carry from match to match or round to round. So if you use it in one round, that doesn't mean you guarantee it the next round. Here we're watching Siri again. Oh, looks like one of Pella carry just got taken out. Must have gotten sniped. You can see the Must mini have, yeah. see the mini map on the upper left. It looks like the Rams are gonna flank Pella. That's dangerous. All of Pella's in one spot, so yeah. it's gonna be really hard for them to get out of this if they're not paying attention to the folks coming up behind them. Oh, there she can see him. Good catch. Oh, that was right. a one. good shot. Yeah, one down. Ooh, look there. Oh, oh no. And there's a win for the Rams. Yeah. Pella's gonna need more of that situational awareness next round. But at least now they know. It's quite interesting to be able to see everybody in the one map so you can see all their strategies. Yeah. I'm trying to determine how many rounds there are. Oh, right here. In the middle of the map, you can see the wins and losses, the one to one for defenders yeah. and attackers. So these, these matches go quite long. Still in the buy phase, so no, no need to worry. 
And this is Eli, who we're watching Eli right now. Seems to be attempting to sneak up on the enemy team. Yeah, compared to the other games we've seen before, this one's, it seems, it's fast paced once the action happens, but getting to that is slow. You notice um, sound is a huge thing to getting away where you are on a map. It's a lot of the players playing real slow, being real sneaky and careful to not give away their position. Um, I'm assuming they're all communicating via headset. Yep. So, um, obviously, communication is critical. Oh, oh, he's planting, Eli is planting a spike down. So, yeah, so the attackers plant the spike, the defenders have to remove it or stop the attackers from doing so. Otherwise, you win just by eliminating everyone on the Yep. Then, how many spikes do you have to put down? Is it a specific number or do you have to just defend it? Um, I think. I'm not actually sure. That's a good question. There's Michael. Ooh, oh, it must just be one because the defenders removed the spike. Therefore, they won. You only get one chance to put a spike down. Then you must. You have to defend that spike. It must be for a certain amount of time. I'm gonna watch Carrie. Oh. Oops. We're in that buy phase again, so we can buy new items. And since the Rams have won more matches than Palo, they're going to have more money to spend. So they already have that slight of advantage. Yeah, the borders have opened up, so on the move. I know each character kind of gives you special abilities. Do you know any of those off the top of your head? Like here it looks like she's throwing a, a throwing a shadow ball. Do you know yeah, do you know anything about Valorant? Do you know the abilities? No. I have no uh, idea. Right. We, have hi. we have Troy with yeah. us. Say hi Troy. Hello, I'm I'm Troy. I just I barged in. I'm uh, I'm in the spat I'm in the Smash League today. I'm in the uh, the, the glories we're gonna the Dutch glories and we're gonna be streaming we're gonna be we're gonna be streamed here soon. Yeah. Right. Yes. Four so, o'clock-ish? Uh, uh, yeah, four o'clock. And uh, hopefully, got a good chance. Yeah. There's another ability, that green wall we've seen a couple times. Yeah. Oh, that Spike planted, so that means oh. Pella's, Pella's at least planted. It's also three to two, so Pella has a slight advantage here, so hopefully they get it. Well, there's the spike. Is, is that the spike right there? That might be, yeah. yeah. Actually, I have no it idea. It kind of looks like if... Yeah, that might be, actually, yeah. yeah. Looks like the spike can differ depending on which character puts it down. Or like if you have a skin, Ooh, maybe. That's a headshot. Oh, double headshot. Ooh. Good job. Let's go carry. That was a double, double kill right there. And attackers have won. So Pella got a two to two, Pella. All right, so you can see the hovering over the characters. You can see the weapons they have. Like they have their pistol, then they have like a main um, weapon. And then you can see the differentiation with their health and whatnot their abilities, all those purchases they've been making. And here we're watching Carrie again. She seems to really like to wait by that border, the barrier, to immediately sneak in on the enemy team. Uh, the first couple matches we saw them going um, towards the right side of the map, and now they seem to be going towards the left. It seems uh doing a bit better at that, but mm -hmm. if you see, they're coming up on the flank. We have number nine. Who's nine? That's Michael. Michael's kind of watching their flank, so they at least are a little more aware about that. Oh, no, he turned around. Oh, Will oh, see no. him coming? Will see him? Well, oh. you don't want to get too separated from his yeah. team. Oh, yeah, that would be bad. Because so, if you get separated, you just get sniped off. Yeah. Oh, they got one. Oh, oh, where did they go? Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Fight carrier's been killed. Oh, we got one left. We got one that's Michael. Oh, we got so I think, I think he's invisible right now. I don't think they can see him. Yeah, and I guess he can pass through the green wall, too. Yeah. Like dimensional drift. So that must be his character's ability. Oh, did he just... That looked like a decoy. Just making... Yeah, fancy. There's, there's a decoy standing over there. Oh, and it shows it on the mini-map, too. That's cool. Yeah. I wonder if he's able to use that then, if they shoot at oh, it. Oh, it disappeared. See it. I got 24 seconds, 20 seconds left, so even though he's still alive, he has to act, to act now 
or they lose. Yeah, I don't even. I don't. Oh, he does have a spike. I think. Does he? Yes, he has he a does, spike. He does. He's putting down that spike. Oh, there's someone coming out behind. Twelve him. seconds come on, left. Michael, come on, Michael. That was the best. Oh. Oh, oh that was neat. So close. Oh. oh. The spike was planted. Even though he died, they still have to get rid of the spike. Oh, yeah, he's defusing it. Yep. Yeah. Otherwise, they would. There we go. Yep. And there's a, it's another win there for the Rams. And they're shooting at their teammate's head. Yeah. Waiting for the game to look. All right, let's go back. We got Siri, JJ, JJ. You want to watch JJ? I think we've seen one else. Yeah. Oh no, JJ's waiting. Siri's waiting. They're they doing backup. This is Eli. Eli. Okay. Oh, it's by phase, that's why. Yeah. Waiting by those barriers again. Looks like we got a spike on our side. I'm assuming you automatically have one. Yeah, I think I think they start off with it. Yeah. Um, I know in other games where you kind of have a spike, if you drop it, usually there's one. If you drop it, your teammates can like automatically pick it up. Mm. Cause I'm pretty sure you can pick up a spike. Yeah, unless unless they all start with one, but I'm not sure. Oh, goodness. Do you buy it in the buy phase? Maybe you should get it automatically, but I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how to tell who gets it. It's Michael again. Oh, Michael! Oh, oh there we go. Oh, that turned into a tree. Yeah. A way to go. Keep going the same path, so maybe they'll change up their strategy. Because um, going down, going down that left oh. side, I think the enemy's figured them out. Watch Michael here coming forward. We're in the buy phase again, so we can purchase those weapons, armor, abilities for each player. We go, we started. <laughs> Seems like we're going through the right side of the map again, like we did towards the beginning. And it's possible. Looks like we were sneaking up on the enemy. Looks like Michael has activated an ability. Ooh, barely avoided that, and the spike carrier's been killed on Pella's side. Here comes Michael to pick that up. Did that. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh. See that? Michael was just hit. He has, he has carry with him. Oh, location revealed, so he's got- Oh, oh. No. oh Carrie's the only one left. Here she is. Got a- Oh, it's a 5v1 against Pella. She did get a double kill. Oh. Turned into a tree again. Flawless shame. Alright. Rams are doing very well. Yeah. I do believe this is their A team. So tell why they they're A they're, that's you tell why this is their A team. They're very good. Yeah. Put that buy phase again. Looks like everyone has about two weapons each. Yep. Everyone, everyone on the Rams seems to have the same type of weapon. That all, yeah, it all looks the same. I wonder if that's the best one? Oh, if you look at the ping, the Rams have a slightly better ping, too. In some of these games, it can be really, really critical for reaction time. Now we're kind of all moving together again, whereas the Rams going, split up. Going that right, the, on the left side of the map this time. There's a little, little octopus on this gun here. Oh yeah. Oh, we got hit from the back. Wait, that looks like, did she, oh, healing, yep. See yep. The bottom? She just healed herself. It's Eli that we're watching here. Oh, that was friendly fire, but I'm guessing that didn't impact them, but the gun fire was gonna Oh, there's- they just ran into the- almost the entire Rams team. But, three- okay, one- one of the Rams team members has been taken out. 
We're working together. Oh. You that ult, location revealed. No! Oh. I knew it. Spike planner kills, so they gotta pick up that spike in order to progress. There's JJ here. Kinda getting chaotic. Three spike. versus four. So I'm assuming it looks like they can go through this. And it looks like they... Oh, they, oh the spike carrier's been killed. Yeah, so they must have picked up the spike again. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, no. it's... Just JJ left. Oh, it's over there. You can see it says, I think, B yellow is the spike. Oh, I see. Up there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Location of, I believe, the drop spike. Okay. Looks like the Rams had another win here. Got a six, or two to six, Pella. Oh, you can see it at the top. Yeah. Yeah. That buy phase again. Every time. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like the buy phase sometimes lasts longer than the actual rounds. It does feel that way. It doesn't really look like Pella is really doing much for the buy phase. Yeah, I think some of that is um in menus that we can't see. Yeah. So they may just look like they're standing there when the reality is they're tapping through the menus. That's true. Like, like, we can see the opponents, what kind of weapons they have, but I don't believe Pella can see that. No. They should know once like, they start shooting. Yeah, because in the buy phase, when it was aimed towards them, you could see, like, two weapons. A little kitty charm. Aww. Oh, the... two Pella, or three Pella down, only two left. Aww. They're coming up behind. Oh, Aww. Carry taken out. I, it kind of—it looks like they dropped their weapon. I can't tell if you can pick that up or. You might be able to, but usually you have enough ammo in your own weapon where you don't need to. Looks like the Rams got another win there. Yeah, watch Siri. The weapons each have, like you can tell the colors you can change and stylize and little key oh. charms. Fancy. See right there, you can see all a bunch of the abilities and weapons of the opposing team, which is in green. Yeah, and so it looks like Paul's gonna try and converge on the right side this time, rather than the left. Oh, oh, oh! Right into that one. Ooh, that oh, and two. Yeah. And the spike carrier was taken out. That's not good. Gosh, oh, we just got just carry. carry. Just left. carry left out of. Got a one against five. Oh, oh flawless okay. for the Rams. Yeah, flawless means I think when they don't lose anyone or take too much damage. Yeah. Oh, this is the. Oh, we can watch the enemy. That's where the enemy's going. So they're all spreading out, whereas Pella seems to be keeping in one place, like all together. Yeah. Which sometimes spreading out can be worse. That could be dangerous if a single person comes upon a whole group. It can be extremely dangerous. Yeah. So this individual is doing is he's lining up a snipe because if a person, so you can see the pellet team kind of getting ready to walk through there. So it must be a common corridor where sniping happens. So he sniped and then moved, which is smart because when you snipe, they know where you're at. Mm -hmm. Always good idea to move. Yeah. There's two entrances. We can see where they're gonna walk right into it. Yeah. Ooh, you shot that right away. Ooh. Ooh, that just. Oh, it looks like. Looks like Carrie did get somebody, though. Oh. He must, oh, he must have teleported? Probably a good power to have teleportation. Yeah, but he was setting up cards it looked like earlier, so I bet that's what it is. Teleport away to save me. Oh. The uh, victory for the Rams. 92 for Pella. Or 92 for the Rams. Oh, and it looks like Ceres got the spike. Last round before swap, so. Oh, where the, the defender and attackers will switch. Is. Yes. Oh, at halfway, you can see it. Okay. You can see where Pella won. If you... Yep. One third round. Looks like first and fourth. Yes. And then, so then they swap. So it's what, thirteen rounds each, and then I think if they're tied, those are probably the last mm -hmm. two. 
And then creds is probably the money they have to buy things. Yeah, it looks you can see that the Rams have a lot more than Pella. Yeah. So it looks like Pella is trying to take the path to the right. Ooh, got one. Ooh, that is a good snipe. Location reveals means the enemy can see them. Ooh. That's not good. Yeah, gotta keep moving. Eli used an ability for carry. Ooh. Aw. There goes Siri. And Siri was the spike carrier, so. Oh, look at that. Oh, it looks like now, um. Now JJ, JJ. has it? Yeah. It's the yellow sitting on him. Yes. No! Oh. Like we're coming up on. Looks like JJ is going towards B to Ooh. plant the spike, while all of the enemy team is over at. Um, That's a good idea. Upper right, yeah. Here we go. <coughs> but as soon as he places the spike, the enemy is is alerted to it. Yep. Here you can see them all come in that direction. Oh, and it's just JJ left alive. Yeah. So he has to defend the spike because if it gets removed, they, then um, we yeah. they we lose. Yeah, regardless. Oh of oh one. oh, he's leaving. I wonder if there's enough time. I don't know. Oh, he must have anticipated them going in a different direction. Yeah, no, he's in trouble. Because they're defusing that spike. Yes. So he knows where they are. Yeah. Oh no, they all know where he is now, too. Oh, you gotta move. Launching looks like poison. Ooh. Oh, that was good, though. Yeah, I'm cool. That's a good shot, though, yeah. for JJ. So now the Rams are the attackers, whereas Pell is the defenders. So Pell is yep. in blue, Rams are in red. Uh, oh, it looks like looks like we went back to the original pistols on both sides. Yeah, I think. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like oh. it clears all the money out. Yes. So it's almost like a fresh start, brand new phase. Even though the score is still um, as is, oh, it's every it's every twelve rounds. Not good. So you can see the Pella folks defending the map looks a little different because of this different um, layout on the defense side. They're on the top half. We just gotta either kill the entire other team or prevent that spike from being placed. Okay. See that the Ooh, enemy- shot. Oh, the enemy- Oh, that was a good shot for Siri. See the enemy team has planted the spike. Yep, so Paul has to act. And then does the spike have to- Do they have to defend it for the majority of- For the rest of the round then? Yeah, it has a countdown. Got it. So it forces the defenders to then be- Oh, there's the spike right there. Yeah. Oh. Two against two. Oh, oh, we got two against one, oh, two oh, against carry. Come on, carry. You can do this. There's one right there. Get her, get her. Oh, Ooh. two, one v one. Got a one v one here. She's still got a that ability here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh. that's so close. So s sorry, sorry. <laughs> that's so close. Though. Super close for carry. That was a good shot, though. Is this JJ? Yep. Alright. The buy phase. We're just waiting. Now you can see him starting to buy actual guns instead of just pistols. Yep. Actual guns work a lot better than the pistols do. Quicker firing or longer range or some stuff like that. Yeah, although this game really prioritizes headshots. Oh yeah, for sure. So like regardless of what weapon you're using, a headshot is a headshot. Oh, well, it's like they're planting the spike. Rams are planting. So nobody has died yet. So five v five. 
We know oh, someone's there. Eli, please. Oh, Eli and Siri, please. Take it out. Oh, oh good shot, shot for JJ. Shot, yeah. Headshots are always super good. He's very low health, though. You can see on the top of the screen. Oh, yeah, the top. Yeah, it shows all the health of everybody. Ooh, for us, for us also the opposing team, but you cannot see that in game. There's the yeah, spike. Yep, there's the top spike. There's somebody behind. Ooh, oh, no, so close. There's a parry left. Oh, there's three of oh, the Oh, she rams. just got a pistol. Oh, oh the spike oh, went off. Dude. They weren't able to stop it. Match point, it says. Yeah, because I think if, um, so if it's 12 and 12, then that means that they get one more point, then it doesn't matter how many rounds, um, it doesn't matter how many rounds Pella wins in. Mm hmm. We can, see, we can see at the top left who on the opposing team is carrying the spike. Oh, yeah. Is that there earlier? I don't remember I that icon. Did not look. <laughs> Quite possible it was. So we are on. This is Michael. Yep. Coming up on carry. Looks like, looks like he only has a pistol. Oh, he saw the shot the arm of someone. Oh, exactly where you are. We've got Siri. Oh, it looks like they're planting that spike. The Rams are planting that. So now it's gonna force Pella to push real hard. It's 3v3. Not completely hopeless. Pella can still bring this back. We're all like, we're all grouped up. Yeah, they gotta go get the spike. Yeah. We can see it. Oh, we're, we're not. Oh, oh we're not. And I think it's 38 or 4. I don't think it is. It's, not it. oh, it's up. right up in the mini map. You can see it. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. And yep, that's geez. a loss for. Yep, lost for Pella. Okay. It was a good round. It was a good few rounds. GG to the Rams. <laughs> yeah, so you can see their kill death assists. So and then all their all their ratings and whatnot, and plants and diffuses. It's cool to see though. Yeah. Alright, with that we'll go to a pause screen before we start streaming Smash Bros. Thank you everyone.
Hey, this is Kai back again, and we have Eli here from the Valorant team. So, Eli, what do you think? What do you think went really well today? Uh, about only our pistol rounds actually went decent. Uh, had a 4K first round, pulling off of Sage. Uh, everybody else was kind of just the backup there. We did have we had one good round, which was a plant round, uh, where we were able to pick up a W. Uh, we mostly did horrible on the comm side because we couldn't give. We weren't staying very solid. Um, like, we were staying... We had a one person that went deafened, and we couldn't give the comms to them. And so we had to get we had to get a little bit more creative with that. Uh, it's probably, it'd be a little bit more helpful if we, uh, if we weren't on Icebox. Because Icebox is more of like a... It's a Sentinel-based map, so it's going to be very... It's more push towards the character that I was playing, which is Sage, because that's where her testing is done. Um, Icebox is like a very Sage-based map. Oh, okay. So were there any strategies you guys tried to use? Um, mostly just trying to full push in there. There wasn't like major strategies that we tried to use. Uh, stay, sticking together was a major one, but we didn't have someone watching the flank the whole time, so that's what we mostly died off of. Uh, their team was actually really good at flanking and staying quiet about it. We saw you were banning maps at the start. Were there any maps that the Rams banned that you would have preferred to use over Icebox? Uh, not really. Icebox is a pretty universal map for about everybody. It's a map that is played a lot uh, when people are just first starting the game. And it's a map that is it's learned really easily because it's very small. Um, if we had to play Haven, it would have been very bad because it has a, it's a triple site map. So, it's it's kind of bad. It depends. Uh, if we had a, if we were a little bit more fluent as a team, we would be able to play Haven because it's a triple. Because we can have three different people playing on three different sites. So what does triple site map mean? Okay, so a triple sided map means that there's A, B, and C site. Well, instead of just having two sites like A and B, there's a third one in the middle is B, and then C site is the real, is the one on the far end. A and C. It's a really large map, so they can have all three sites. Although it's pretty easy to get from one site to the to another, especially if you're Chamber having his TP. Um, and I guess Yoru too, because you can throw his uh, his main ability would be using his. He can go into like a void, and he can run from one site to another. Uh, yeah, that's about two. Yeah. Were there any like really cool team plays that y'all did? Uh, no, it was mostly, mostly like a solo game where we had 4Ks and 3Ks on rounds. Uh, the final round, our fade, where Carrie got a 3K. Uh, she probably could have aced if we had a little bit more of a more time to play it out, but they had a little bit better of a round on the final one. Or anything else you want to say about Not really. what happened or anything? We need to get a little bit more of a team-based side to us, and then we can probably we'll do a lot better after the end of it. Alright, thank you for coming, and we're going to start streaming Smash Bros. real soon. Be right back.
Welcome back, folks. I'm I'm the coach, uh, Sam. I will be joined by Kai, but she's in on a temporary break. So we're watching the Dutch Glory, um, who are playing Kirby right now. That's Sarah. We're watching them play, and we're playing the... Uh, well, let me remember their name real quick. I apologize. I think it's the Crispy Waffles. They're a school from Missouri. So we might just call them the Dutch and the Waffles. Which is kind of hilarious. Usually it's Belgian Waffles. Sorry, that, might, that joke might be too far advanced for some folks. All right. So yeah, we have the um, the Dutch. Dutch is pink, Kirby. So Kirby's the pink character, or on the red side. The uh, Sephiroth is the other character, blue. So he's part of the uh, the Crispy Waffles from Eugene, Missouri. So they're at least close to us. So as we see, the Dutch already are down one life. So you see the two little blobs under the name, under the Q, whereas the uh, Waffles have three. So we're currently down one, but it's not over till it's over. So we can still bring it back. Sarah playing as Kirby. I know she's been practicing a lot. She's been in here almost every day, trying real hard to practice, learning more about Kirby. Look at that, defended. Oh, no. Come on, Sarah. She, she used her move, like a special move, to throw herself on the ground faster. When you're in the air, it's not good, even though Kirby has great air time. Ooh, that's another life lost. Oh, no. All right, Kai's with me. Hey, Kai. Hello. So we currently have Sarah is Kirby, the little pink one, and then we have Sephiroth are the waffles. They're the crispy waffles from Eugene, Missouri, so we've just been calling them the waffles. It looks like we're down to one life. Uh, Sephiroth, the waffles, with still with his three lives. Yep. I think this is just the first round, so there's a couple more rounds after this. Oh, oh, it's a critical hit on Kirby and oh, no. game. Alrighty, so now they're going. So I think this is where they can change characters or change the map. Yep. So it's gonna be gonna be a little bit to to determine. So Sarah's part of the Dutch Glory team. So that's one of our two Smash teams. The other team is the Dutch Whoppers. We watched them last week. They won, I believe it was two to one at least. So they're playing they're playing that right now as well. We just can't see their match. Say say I'm using four controls. Does it look like we're changing the map right now? Yeah. So we can see the uh, the Dutch Glory team um, talking to learn how to do banter amongst the party. So these are all the messages. Um, with Smash, it's a little more difficult to communicate. We have to actually do it on the Play versus app because we can't do it in the game. So with Valorant that we saw earlier, we could actually communicate with the teams, with bands and picks mm -hmm. in the game itself, whereas here it's kind of off screen, so it makes these mid-match sort or between-match sort of times kind of dull. Yeah, you just got that all these scripted messages we can send. Yep. So... I think she might be changing the stage. Yeah. We'll have to see. So it looks like both sides have to like choose. Yeah. And I think so there's usually a ban and pick phase. Mm -hmm. So it'll go back and forth and ban and then one person picks. I think if you lose you get the pick. And then there's also the character selection. So mm -hmm. It's like you're saying, I'm staying the same character, I'm changing. Here we go, we're picking small. preferred. Yes. Small battlefield. She's just saying she's ready by putting her character in the arena. Looks like the waffles are still selecting there. I am going to attempt to figure out audio. Because the game actually does have sound, but it's very difficult to figure out via the capture device. Oh wait, it's not this one. That's silly. Oh, so they have picked. 
Oh, we got Kirby and Sephiroth again. Yep, so no change in character, only a change in map. This map is a lot easier just because it is it is the small battlefield and it's it only has the two platforms and the single one on the bottom. Yep. It's a very beginner friendly map here. It's also, a lot of the maps will have like crazy backgrounds. This one looks a little bit simpler. Some of the maps even have moving features such like the platforms, they'll like disappear and reappear or they'll move or something will come through and cause you to take damage. Mm -hmm. Those are generally not the most, like, they're not the best to use just because of the strange circumstances that they come with. Yeah. So we already have Sarah down one life, um, attempting to, yep, there she goes, able to hit yeah. Sephiroth. Sephiroth has a longer reach. Um, also do that. But Kirby's also really short and more mobile in the air. See, they're using their shields there. Oh, oh, and Sarah's down to one life. Yep. Getting back in the game. Oh. Oh. I think, I think the dark circles around her are actually a move from Sephiroth that do damage over time. Yeah. Ooh, she got a good hit on him. Oh no, he came back down. You can see next to the character is the game, like the character icon in the bottom. You can see which game they came from. So Kirby obviously came from Kirby, and then Sephiroth is from Final Fantasy. Yes. Final um, Fantasy. Final Fantasy VII, and then he's made appearances in Advent Children, which was a movie. Then Kingdom Hearts, which was a oh, yeah. joint by Disney. Disney. There's a lot of Kingdom Hearts. It's yeah. Very spread out over the years. And then yeah, and then oh, all Sephiroth is doing squatting. <laughs> and it's usually considered not polite. All right. Ah. Uh, so down another round. Yep. So zero and two for Sarah, but she sells her two teammates that are allowed to play. See, so. So usually they go best of three, and then best of three for each player. So that was Sarah's. So I'm guessing, I'm not sure if they'll do another one just to have the third, or if they'll switch out. So we're currently switching off here in Pella. We're switching from Sarah to Troy. So I do believe we're going to switch characters from Kirby, most likely over to Cloud, who is Troy's main generally, so the character he plays most. So we'll see if he does that. And then we just talked to the, uh, the Dutch Whoppers, I believe. Mars was their first player playing the first rounds, and he's already won one round, so now he's got to get ready for the second.
Then we were anticipating playing Overwatch, but Overwatch 2 has been having some issues. We're watching our current Dutch team trying to practice and getting kicked out of the game. So that's why we're not showing any of their matches. So Troy picking Cloud, just like you predicted, Kai. Yep. Yeah. He says that's the character he's best at, so it's always a good idea to pick that character. Mm -hmm. There was a Duck Season character, the dog from Duck oh. Season in this. Yeah. It's always funny seeing what characters are in here. I believe Minecraft Steve was in here for a while. I, don't, yep. I believe he still is. Yeah, usually you can change the skins too, so it's Steve, or you can look like a creeper, mm -hmm. or the Ender. Alex from Enderman. Yeah, the Enderman. Skins are always fun because when you're playing with someone from like, like when you play at home, you could play like everyone plays the same character. You could all have like Kirby, just different colors. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Looks like the waffles are still selecting their character. Yep, and then they also got to go through the banning and the picking of the maps. Yep. It looks like we're picking our map now, so we're going for the small battlefield again. It's always a good choice. We're just... All right, so we're back. Inkling versus Cloud. So the, I want to say Mustangs. That was the other team. The Waffles. The Waffles are playing the uh, the Inkling. So that's from Splatoon. Usually we stream Splatoon on uh, Tuesdays. It's, it's its own esport, which is also hilarious. Looks like we're right into the action. They immediately went yeah. at each other. Oh, and Cloud is just get some good hits in. Get the shields up. Oh, he's oh. rolling him. Ooh, oh, we dodged, dodged that. That yep. was... Oh, oh, we got hit. He got rolled into the ground. <laughs> All right. So we dodged those, those oh. little, I think, what do you call them? Ink, ball, ink, ink. bombs or something yeah. like that. So both very quick characters moving oh, around yeah. the map. You can tell Troy's very good at the dodge. Yeah, oh, so and he... Oh, hold on. Oh, Ooh, knock him off. That's oh, he still made it. Yeah, that's the best way is to knock him off. But a lot of characters have that where they can get back on or they can jump up or fly. And it's all about knocking your character off the map or hitting them hard enough they fall off the map. The other thing, too, is so you were talking about Sephiroth last match. So Cloud is from the same game as Sephiroth. So they're kind of rivals. Cloud's supposed to be the protagonist, Sephiroth the antagonist. <laughs> Oh, it got rolled into the ground again. Yeah, it looks like it stuns him so that uh, mm -hmm. Inkling can get a good hit off. It's a good ability, though. You can yeah. tell got, Cloud got that blue ink oh. all over him. I wonder if that... Oh, he got the edge. Oh, no. Come on, We're Cloud. We're in trouble. I believe. No. Nah. No. Yeah. That's okay. Still got, still got this two lives. Yeah. Plus... Oh. And there we go. Instantly comes it's back and gets a KO. Huge hit. That was a critical by Troy. Yeah. Absolutely launched the inkling. He's able to get those combos off on him really well. It looks yeah. like um, almost like our game is lagging too. So this is with the capture card. So that might be why. So I apologize for all the lag. Oh, come on. He did so well at dodging that. It really increases the damage on Cloud, though. The more damage they take, the easier it is to knock them off the map. Yeah. That's what that percentage is in the bottom. Yeah. So the Pella... Yeah, we should probably clarify. Pella's in blue on the right, so that's Troy. Um, with the Q name, whereas uh, Inkling for the Waffles is in red. Even though the character has, like, blue hair and blue accessories. 
It's kind of confusing. So, looks like we're attempting to charge up an ability. Yep, right there. Troy's charging up that slashing ability. Yeah. So if uh, Inkling gets too close, Cloud or yeah, Troy's Troy's moves are really um, short range. So if Inkling gets too close, it could be like a critical damage. To him. Oh, oh, oh no! Like that. Yep. Inkling, you could see rolled him and stunned him, and then hit him and did a critical hit on that. Yeah. Launched him into space. Troy trying to bounce back. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh, that was a good hit. Oh, we got steamrolled again. Got to dodge that. He's getting better at recovering from it, though. Oh, for sure. Use that shield. If they if they get hit too hard with that shield. Oh, there shield, we go. Yeah. Got that one-to-one. -one. Troy's a little bit, has a little bit of a disadvantage because yeah. she's got that 30, 55.1% on him. But, ooh, dodge. Like, Inkling missed with that ink bomb there. It's always good. Oh, we steamrolled. Oh, no. Steam oh, 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 no. Oh, we might be in trouble. Oh, he's no, got, we got, got it. Watch that ink bomb. Oh, no. Oh. No. And that's oh. a crit. Yep. There we go. That was really close, though. Yeah. That was just the first round, too, so it's best two out of three. <laughs> so now going into that next round, we they might switch characters, they might not. I don't believe Troy is planning on switching. But we do need to pick and ban our maps again. So we might go with the same one, we might not. I'm assuming there's like a list of ones you can do. Yeah. Because I don't think you can do the moving ones like Correct. the like fox like the Fox's airship one or Yeah. I don't remember what that one's called. Star Fox Airship. So if you look, there's all these maps. I think they can pick out of five or seven. Mm -hmm. So it's a very, very small list compared to everything available. Because a lot of these like can really impact a game. Pick the Animal Crossing Town and City one. That one's also a pretty decent beginner one. It's very similar to the small battlefield. Yeah, not a lot of moving parts. The background's a bit distracting, but I'm an Animal Crossing fan, so I always stare at it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also interesting because they have an Animal Crossing characters, too. Yeah, so. they got, I believe, Isabella and the villager from Animal Crossing. Yep. The generic villager. Off, so it looks like we picked that Animal Crossing and they're still selecting a change of character or we're still picking and banning. Yeah, well they picked the map so I wonder if it's just confirming they're ready. That might be Yeah, ready. there we go. So Troy has to move his token into the, yep, there, there we go. go. Yep, and they have not switched their characters, so it's once again we got Cloud on Pella, so that's Troy against Inkling. That is the Waffles. Also, I'm gonna click a button. Okay. I thought I was gonna turn on sound, it did not work. Sorry, team. So there's normally sound in this game, um, but we are not hearing any, uh, just based on the capture card settings. What were you saying, Kai? Oh, just this this team's called the Crispy Waffles. Just, just for fun, the other team is called the B Movie. So yeah, so no, that's a good shout out. So right now we're watching one of the Pella, um, the Dutch Glory. Yep, the Dutch Glory, and, the, and our other team is the Dutch Whoppers. And so this school that we're playing against is from Eugene, Missouri, also has two teams. So the, we're playing against the crisp, both of them, the Crispy Waffles and the B. -Movie. So Dutch Glory is playing against the Waffles, and the Dutch Whoppers are playing against the B Movie. Yep. So just thought their names were very good, very creative. Yeah, I think it's also interesting too the fact that we're able to instead of just playing a random school and then a different random school that you know there's enough players to have two teams that we can actually face each other. <sighs> Mm 
looks like we already got quite a bit of damage on the inkling for the wa the waffles right now. Oh, oh, that's a critical hit. Oh, there we go. We nice. got a two versus two. Looks like Troy must have lost a life already. And that's oh. another critical hit on that. That was not enough to instantly murder him, but yeah. it's good enough to do a ton of damage. Yeah, the more damage a character had, the more likely a critical is to Ooh. launch them into space. Yeah. So yeah. Waffle's character getting too close and then just instantly yeah. countered by Troy. He's doing good at catching up on the damage. Oh, for sure. Troy again using these platforms a bit better to avoid yeah. the, the ink bowls. Oh, no. You oh. can see this is very similar to the small battlefield, except it does have that center platform and the background does move around a little bit, mm -hmm. which is a little bit more distracting, but I'm sure both teams can handle it quite well. Yeah. And the platforms move a little bit too, so they're not always there in place. Mm -hmm. Troy just a little bit ahead on damage, come on. That final blow, dude. See, all those buffs. Oh, oh got steam. Oh, no. Oh, I got a so two to cool. one there for the waffles. Here we got. You can see whenever they pull up those bubbles, those are their shields to deflect damage from them. So, yes, there we go. There we go. Got a critical hit from Troy just launching Inkling into the atmosphere. The, uh, uh, they're shouting in the background. That's the Dutch Glory team cheering Troy on. Yep. They're, like, right here, right to our right here. Yeah. Oh, come on, Troy. Okay. You can see Troy is covered in ink again. It's always a fun detail to add. Is hold up that. That's a good count. Oh, no. Just absolutely relentless with that ink roller. Just yeah. determined to just pop up, pop up. There we go. On, Troy. You seems to be seems to be the waffles favorite is that ink roller just to oh just turn to squid. It seems like you can only use that a certain number of times. Seems like you might have to recharge. Yeah, runs out of ink or something. Yeah. Like that, maybe. I love all the features they add to these. Like the running out of ink is a feature in Splatoon, where you have to regenerate that by mm -hmm. turning into a squid and going down into the ink. It looks like they. Added that into this game too. That's always cool to see. Oh, Troy got barely grabbed that edge there. Yeah, He's trying to steamroll him again. Oh, oh, come on, Troy! That was so good. Get him. It's like Troy has. Troy gets hit. Oh, Troy gets hit too hard the next time. It can yeah. spell the end for him. Oh, oh no! Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh. That was such a That's close okay. game. That was a really close fight, though. Yeah. <laughs> so good fight to Troy. So next we'll have Gavin, the uh, third player of the Dutch Glory. And he will face uh, another Waffles player. So generally these would be three matches, but since it was a two to, one, two to zero, we just basically stopped the match. And go to the next player. So we'll take a quick break as they switch character or switch players and pick their maps. Hey, it's Kai back again. Oh, We're just in here with Sarah from the first match. She was playing Kirby. So, Sarah, what, what do you think went really well in your match? Um, I think I did a better job this round of sh using my shield because normally I forget I have it, but 
since this character had a lot of really good moves, I was more comfortable with using it. Yeah, I did really notice that. A lot of a lot of shield work for both you and Troy. That was really good. Um, how do you feel about like your general performance? Cause um, I feel like I could have done a little bit better um, with my like 1v1 moves and using a little bit more variety, but the other team was a really good competitor and they did a really good job. So I noticed you were playing Kirby, is that like your favorite character to play, like your main? Yeah, growing up I always played Kirby, so I thought as soon as I made it on the team I would also use Kirby. That's that's awesome actually. What is, what is your favorite move to use for Kirby? Um. If you were watching me, you probably saw that he used the down B a lot. <laughs> like, Which, like, what does that the, do? Um, it, like, you go in the air and then you smash down on them. So, yeah. Is that, like, the brick or, like, yes, 100 the brick. pounds? Like, yeah. It seems like that did deal quite a bit of damage it to does. Sephiroth. Yeah. yeah. Is there anything else you want to say? Um, I think we're going to win this match. <laughs> Also Gavin's good. pretty good. He's not as good as me, but no, I'm done. What? I'm, I'm messing. I'm messing. That's Troy, by the way. He he was here yesterday. He's I've, back. He just played in that previous match. He's yep, playing. Yep. Oh. I was uh, cloud. Here we got um, Gavin versus the Waffles. We got Pira and got Pira and Mithra or Pyra and Mithra and the Duck Hunt, which I absolutely love. Pira and Mithra. Those. Mithra. 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 Pyrrha and Mithra. My bad. Um, those are actually some of my favorite characters to play. Got the duck hunt. Love duck hunt. I played them once, Troy. Please. Um, watching Gavin here, I think he needs to use his shield a little bit more. Um, but otherwise, he's doing a pretty good job. The duck hunt character is very interesting because it kind of like it's melee attack is to kind of launch that duck off of its back. I don't think Gavin usually does use his duck hunt, but I think... He uses duck hunt and Mario as his main, I'm pretty sure. I think those are very uncommon mains, but... Yeah. Duck hunt is really good at long range. Um, he has this can that, like, when you throw it, it you can, like, push it around the map. Oh. So, when you throw this, like, can that's, like, an explosive, and if you press a certain button, you can make it hop around the map. Interesting. And basically, you can set it off at any time. I don't know if you set it off at any time, but you can like push it. You can go around it and then push it back at a person. And it explodes on them. And it deals a lot of damage if it's gone around the map a lot. Well, I guess it seems like. Although he doesn't seem to be using that much. Yeah. I mean, he is kind of. But... Seems like Duck Hunt seems to be a character if you're more experienced that you'd want it, to play. Yeah, Duck Hunts are definitely more experienced. Seems like player. seems like our opponent, or the Waffles, are staying with. Pyra. Pyra. And Pyra. Yep. Well, they're Pyra. So, the interesting thing about Pyra and Myth Mi Mithra. Mi Mithra. Pyra and Mithra is that they're two separate characters, but they can switch between each other, and each has a separate set of moves. So, right now, we got Mithra. They've just switched from Pyra, Pyra to Mithra. So, one of them has more of like a flame sword. So Pyra Mithra's, has a miss, uh, flame Mithra's sword. like really dashy and yes, like much she, more speed type. She has well, that like slash attack that yeah, is extremely while, effective. While Pyra is more of a powerhouse. Yes, for sure. They're a really good combo to play yeah. if like, like especially with their two separate sets of moves. If you, it's good for like both the powerhouse and the speed. So looks like the waffles are. Thing on Mithra. We're doing pretty good. Oh, we got, got that 221% damage here. But Gavin has that, had a so lot of good saves. So the higher the damage, the higher the percent of damage is uh, the worse. Yeah. Well, not the worse you're doing, but like the... the it's more, it's more it's, likely. It's how much you've been hit. It's right. like... It's how you, likely you are to get blasted to get, off yeah. the face of this earth if you get hit. Right and like there. Got a 3 to 1 with the waffles up. Not having much lag right now. I, I had a lot of lag, so. Yeah. We Oh, there's that can that yeah. Troy was if, talking about. There you if go. If you can, like, hit it at him, then you can do a lot, do of, damage. A lot of damage there, yeah. 
for any tips you'd have for Gavin right now? Uh, um, use this like, can more efficiently. Like, use it at a farther... <laughs> Gavin! <laughs> uh, watching him play so far, he's had a lot of good saves. Going off of the surface and just getting back on. That's been really impressive. The fact that when he gets knocked off, he tends to be able to, like, glide back over and then use his jump to get back up and grab that edge. I don't know if you heard me. I was really far from Mike. But, yeah, I just... Uh, just like the way he like was able to get that edge. Now we gotta pick that new stadium if, and switch characters if we choose to. Does Whoppers win? Two and zero. Does Whoppers win? Looks like the Dutch Whoppers have won their game 2-0 two to two -o. Is against the B movie again. <laughs> love, I love their, I love that name. I love both of them. The B movie and the Crispy Waffles. Crispy Waffles. We're, we are against the Crispy Waffles. We went, yeah. Um, cur yeah. Currently we are watching the rounds versus Crispy Waffles. Mm -hmm. This is the streaming section. We're streaming right now. Coach, okay? It looks like we are yeah, keeping no, with the exact no, same characters. <laughs> no. All right, we're starting off. It looks like we have Pyra right Pyra right now, right? Pyra and Mithra. Yeah. Pyra we've got Pyra right now. And Pyra has that flame sword attack, which she's she's a much more of a powerhouse than Mithra is. Oh, here she he switched the waffles, just switched over to Mithra. Which remember she has more of the dash attacks. You could she just demonstrated it right there. There's another good save from Gavin. Oh. Oh, there looks like go. that duck there can fly. <laughs> oh, and yeah. Hey, he couldn't kept, quite come back. Yeah, I kept him down long enough. He couldn't regenerate that jump. They're keeping with Mithra right now. point 92.6% over on Hella here, which Hella's playing the duck hunt, which is blue here, and going off of what Troy said earlier, I think Gavin really needs to use that can move. Um, I think that can generate a lot of damage for the other team. Or like, it seems like he, Gavin's having a lot of problems with the close range because both Pira and um, the, the the Waffles character, yeah, Pira and Mithra are both very close range, and Duck Hunt seems to be more he's using it more of a melee character. Yeah, we just lost there. Yeah, so he needs to use more of that can attack, which is more of a long range. 
Looks like Pella washed that round as well. I think that might have been our last match for the Dutch Glory. Do you believe that was? Yeah, I mean, the Waffles seem to be quite a good team on the Smash Brothers, at least. So, we did a 0-3 to, to three for Pella, which is, okay, the Waffles were extremely good. Very impressive. Yep, so that was our last match for Smash Bros. And do you believe this is the last thing we're streaming? So the Dutch Whoppers went 2-0. Oh. Yep, the Dutch Whoppers 2-0, and, oh, and the Pella Glory was 0-3. <laughs> yep, now we're in the stream. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.